We are back for another visit to Sister Lillian Paramore at the Sister Lillian Centre in Pretoria. She's an author and one of South Africa's leading pregnancy and parenting advisors. Today we're talking about development and milestones and stimulation of children. Now that's a really in-depth subject that in a few minutes we really can't do justice to. But one of the things that I want to assure all parents out there about is that the more hands-on your parenting is, the better your child will develop. He will become who he is supposed to be and she will fly no matter what. One of the ways to achieve that is reading to your children. That achieves so much. You know, your voice goes into this wonderful tone when you read to children. And apart from that, just because they see and they hear and they feel all at the same time, it's a wonderful tool. It gives so much to your child and you already start the process by sitting next to them, usually cuddling up. So that's touch therapy together with the reading. I stumbled across an author who wrote stories for little children, for families to read to their children. And this is a book called The Adventures of Quackamaloo. It's actually a collection of 10 stories that we published simply because nobody else had. And they were such valuable lessons that children learned without being patronized too. So that's, for instance, one example of a book. But whatever you're reading to your children, make sure it's a hands-on experience. You there with them and letting them talk to you about the pictures that they're seeing, you using your voice to communicate the message of love, emotional security, and confidence. Sister Lillian met up with the author, Magdalene Walters, to find out more about the comical escapades of Quackamaloo, a book ideal for three to eight-year-olds. What sparked the idea for this book, The Adventures of Quackamaloo? You know, Lillian, I've been walking with a line in my head for a very long time, and the line went like this. Once upon a time and long ago, a quackamaline flew over a city. I had no idea what a quackamaline was. I had no idea where this was going to lead to. And I sat down and I wrote the line down. And then quackamaloo happened. And what was so, so very special for me in the writing experience, it kept rhyming. I never ever tried to, to make it rhyme on purpose. But the story had its own flow and its own rhythm and its own go all the time. I never quite sat down to think, what, what must Quackamaloo do now? I would love to, to offer something, something very vulnerable, something that's, that can be heard, but something that must learn um, from life itself. The biggest purpose of the child is to grow up and to create a space for him to grow up. And things can invade his space and the child must learn to handle it. And the child must never feel deserted and unloved and unwanted. Mm -hmm. And when Quackamaloo was born, he was feeling quite unwanted. Um, the dog didn't want to be his mummy, neither the cat. Um, the old man wanted to eat him. And then there was this hen who said, come here. And that feeling of belonging should be very precious in a child's life. And if, I, if the story could enhance those feelings, then it's good for me. By taking an active part in children's development, you can spot the symptoms of anything unusual early and help treat it in a natural way. Just a word in the South African context where ADHD or attention deficit and hyperactivity disorder is highly overdiagnosed on the one hand and also diagnosed too early on the other hand. Is, be a little bit wary of that one. You can't diagnose it at his age. You've got to be closer to school going age. You might see signs and symptoms. And if once your child's in school, concentration is a really difficult thing for them and their attention wanders, a safe tissue salt like Carly Foss will be very helpful. But the most important message is be there with your children and you will liberate the genius in each one. Aiding in your child's development is as easy as reading together and spending time with each other. Benefit from Sister Lillian's wealth of knowledge and years of experience by visiting sisterlillian.coza.